The new crosswalk is almost complete between the Rio and Gold Coast. It's a spot where a couple was killed last year in a hit and run in a spot known for jaywalking as well. Action News reporter Brian Callahan joins us live from that spot at Valley View and Flamingo. And as I'm watching your live shot, I saw several people already just jaywalking in that area. That's dangerous. Yeah, Trish, it's something we see all the time here. We saw it last year when we came out to cover that story, but you can see up here, these lights are already up. They're not quite active yet, but they should be here within the next month. It's all in hopes it will prevent some of the dangerous dashes between these two properties. There are still plenty of people waiting for breaks in traffic to dart across Valley View here. That's what a couple was doing last year when they were hit and killed on this stretch of road. At that point, traffic safety advocate Aaron Breen came out here with us, encountered about 100 people crossing in less than an hour. Then Breen said there needed to be a crosswalk installed right here now that it's going in. Breen says pedestrians need to use it. I would hope that at least half of the people are going to see some value and come up here and cross the street safely. And as I said, these lights aren't set to be activated for about a month now, but Breen says people will need to use it and she's actually hoping to help encourage that by getting some of these properties to close off some of the pedestrian entrances to their parking garage to reduce the urge to jaywalk. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, Channel 13 Action News. Brian, thank you so much.